Am I the a hole for telling my ex-wife's fiancé the truth about our divorce? My 33M ex-wife 30F and I got divorced three years ago. In college, we worked at the same restaurant. That's where we met. We were together for seven years and married for a little over three and a half. We divorced because she cheated twice. Two years into our marriage I discover she is having an affair with a former classmate. I collect enough evidence and confront her. She confesses everything. The affair was about two months long. This was a really terrible time and was really hard to work through with her. You can call me an idiot, but I am a forgiving person. I do believe in second chances and that people can change. We agreed to reconcile. We did the work. We had marriage counseling. We read some of the books. She went no contact with classmate right away. Open phone policy. We told our parents. She was doing the right things and our relationship was recovering. One year into our reconciliation, her aunt dies. I am very busy with work and cannot attend the services as they are on Thursday and Friday, back in her hometown five hours away. Her parents and brother no longer live there, so she stayed with a good friend from H's. I had met this friend a few times and was comfortable with that. On Saturday morning my wife texts me that the car was loaded, and she was about to start making the drive home. About an hour after that I got a Facebook message from the friend, who stated she wouldn't be able to live with herself if she just let this go, but informed me that my wife had gone out Friday night with some old friends from H's. The friend thought nothing of this until she discovered my wife had left her phone behind, and that she didn't come back until the following morning. I had gotten a text that Friday night from my wife that she was going to bed early since the past few days had been emotionally draining. I confronted my wife soon as she got home. She was really hesitant to tell me anything so I lied to her and told her if we were going to work through this. I needed to know everything like the last time. That got her to confess that she had gone out and had gone home with an old friend from high school. She said they didn't have sex but did do stuff that I won't go into detail about here. It didn't matter. Once I got enough of the truth I left for my parents' house. That week, my dad called my landlord and paid all the termination fees and got me out of the lease. We went and got my stuff while she was at work. My parents set me up with a friend of theirs that was a divorce attorney and he cut me a deal. Took about seven months for divorce to go final. That was three years ago. I have an awesome girlfriend and I'm doing well. This past weekend I got a Facebook message from a guy who is now engaged to my ex-wife. He introduced himself and said he was probably just being crazy but he wanted to know why we had gotten divorced. He said he had broached the subject a few times, and she always gets weird. She had told him we had divorced because we grew apart, but mostly she just deflects or is really really vague. I told him the truth, and offered evidence if he would like. He declined, and thanked me for my time and story. A day later I get a phone call from a local, but a known number. I answer and it's my ex-wife. She is really upset and asking me why I am trying to ruin her future. I get her to calm down and talk. She says her fiancé has asked for some space and is staying with his parents this week. That he is saying he needs to reevaluate their relationship. She wants to know why I told him all about their past and why I'm still punishing her. She tells me she's not that person anymore and has done all this work and been in therapy. That she deserves another chance and I'm being petty and hateful. There were a few generic insults thrown. I got a little pissed and told her if she really changed for the better she would have been upfront with him about her or our past and owned up to cheating in her prior marriage, and then gone about showing her fiancé that she was ready to be a worthy partner to him unlike she was with me. Instead she tried to lie and hide the truth, and now it's blowing up in her face again. She said a few choice words and hung up. I haven't heard anything since. I told my girlfriend and she reassured how I handled it, but I find myself feeling guilty. I still believe in second chances and that people can change. While I would have felt wrong lying to the guy, I wonder if I should have handled the whole thing differently or just not responded. If she is truly different and this is just a blip, I don't want to be the thing that prevents her from finding happiness, but also believe I'm not what's hurting her engagement. Am I the a whole? Relevant comments. Commenter. The fiancé called you and asked you what happened. You are under no obligation to lie to him for her sake, as a matter of fact. Anything that you told him besides the truth would be suspect as you have no idea what she told him. Commenter. Imagine if you had lied to the guy and said you had just grown apart. Would you want that on your conscience? I'd have told him rather than been part of a lie that will lead to someone else getting hurt. She hasn't changed at all. Reply. No. You're right. 
I would not have lied to him. I think I was largely wondering if I should have just told him it wasn't my place and he needs to get it from his fiancée. But after the amount of feedback, I'm feeling really good with my decision. Commenter. NTA. I'm like you. I would feel guilty because at a glance it seems like being honest about your experience caused your ex to potentially lose her relationship. However you are holding yourself accountable for someone else's actions. Your ex cheated. Your ex withheld information from her current partner. Your ex is still avoiding accountability. You are not responsible for her actions. Anything that happens in her relationship is her problem. Not yours. Up. Thank you for this. I got to remind myself of that. I hate causing others pain. So I'm glad to hear from someone who can relate. Update. I really didn't expect to give an update because I assumed I'd never hear anything from my ex-wife or her fiancé again. Last night I received a very, very long text from my ex-wife. I'll summarize it below because it was long and did have personal details. She started off by apologizing for the way she talked to me the other day and said I didn't deserve to be insulted like that. She then went on to explain herself and her situation. She started by acknowledging that this whole situation wasn't my concern or business and apologized for me being drawn into it and said she was embarrassed that their issues were being aired out. She said it was her fault this happened. Since she began dating her fiancé she has hidden the details of our marriage out of shame and guilt. For the most part it was never brought up until he proposed a couple months ago. That's when he first really asked and seemed to want to know. She said she wasn't ready to deal with that and kept trying to rug sweep it but he persisted. This is when she started therapy so apparently she's only had a few therapy sessions and all are recent. She never thought he would reach out to me. She then stated that none of this was my fault and apologized for blaming me. She said she should have faced this a long time ago, gotten therapy for ruining our marriage, and come to terms with her own feelings of guilt. Then she apologized for her affairs and way I was treated during our marriage. The last part was just her stating that she was not expecting a response back wishing me the best, and saying that hopefully her and her fiancé will never bother me again. This morning when I got up and read this, I sent back a brief message. I appreciate the apologies and I'm glad you are working on yourself. I have moved on from what happened, and hope you can move on from this. The only bit of advice I have is I think this text needs to go to your fiancé. She responded back just by saying thank you, and that he's received far more and far longer texts. I doubt there will ever be another update. I actually hope there isn't. I don't believe in closure, but I will say it was refreshing to hear her apologize without an asterisk. That's what I always got before. I'm so sorry. I just drank too much and I'm so sorry. I was just really depressed and stressed and doesn't mean a whole lot really. Maybe just unexpected for me but it was nice to hear an apology that has no excuse trailing behind it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day now and leave all this behind me. Wanted to address a small sets of commenters from the first post though. I had several people hung up on that my dad paid my termination fees and got me out of my lease. He did that of his own accord, to take a lot of the stress of the separation off me. I included that to show how I had a support system that was behind me, and willing to help in any way no questions asked. It really helped me through the healing process, and I got back on my feet pretty quickly after. I'm sorry if you don't have anyone there for you when you're at your lowest, but it doesn't make you better or manlier or whatever you were going for when you made those comments. Having to face any and every challenge on your own is really just kind of a sad existence in my opinion. I hope that changes for you and you'll find someone to be in your corner someday. Relevant comments. Commenter. She seems to be taking some accountability for her actions which is a surprise if she is sincere. They almost never take any responsibility for anything. Go on and have a wonderful life. Up. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I don't have much thought on the text she sent me. I mean this whole thing is really nothing more than a weird few days in my otherwise routine life. But I will admit, it was nice to hear her take some accountability without making an excuse right after. That had never happened before. Commenter. I honestly don't see why people were jumping on you for having someone in your corner to help you out. Seems like a weird thing to get hung up on. Oop. That's how I felt too. But there were a handful of people who were trying to imply that I was some sort of crybaby man-child because my dad took care of that for me. Commenter. What accountability exactly do you think that she is taking here? She's basically just playing defense to try to save her current relationship. It's easy to be honest when there's no other choice. Oop. Her motivations are her own. But to address your questions on accountability. When she first got caught having an affair, 
and we decided to work it out. She did everything right. She came to every counseling appointment and fully participated. She read the books we got, she gave me every password, and so on. She would apologize profusely, but every time she would also give an excuse along with it. I am so sorry I did this to us. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just so caught up in the validation or the attention, or I was just so depressed and he was just there, and so on. She would put herself down, beg for forgiveness, and each time there was always just a little asterisk added on. A little reason or excuse or deflection as to why she did it. An outside factor that pushed her into it to some degree. When she did the second time, there wasn't much discussion because I ended things and left as soon as I got enough confession out of her. But when she was bombarding me with texts, emails, snaps, you name it trying to explain and beg, and ask for one more chance and all that, she apologized a 1,000 times. All 1,000 times had its little asterisk. I was just so drunk I wasn't thinking. I really thought he just wanted to keep hanging out. We didn't have sex whether this was true or not, I really don't care and so on. I'm going to assume you've never dealt with a betrayal like this, and I hope you never do. But when you are a person like me, who has been betrayed, even years later, to finally get an apology that has no excuses, no asterisks attached to it, it is incredibly refreshing. I truly thought it would never happen thought she would never be capable. Now, it doesn't mean much. Our lives haven't crossed paths in 2.5 years, and may never again. I'm not going to be reaching out, and I assume neither is she. But for that to actually happen, I'll take the win today.